Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the rat tail cactus. The rat tail cactus is native to Mexico and parts of Central America. Without a cultivating hand, this cactus grows as a lithophyte or an epiphyte. It takes up nutrients from the air and rain in both cases. The plant gets its name from its long trailing stems, which are unusual and grow to a height of around four feet when mature. The rat's tail cactus blooms in the spring and early summer and its blooms are typically violet red, while the plant occasionally produces flowers in eccentric colors like pink and orange. It has tubular, two inch broad flowers that are fairly large. Depending on the variety, the ridges on the stems can be shallow or deep, but always sharp. The flowering season extends from late spring to early summer. It is a popular choice for gardeners because it is drought tolerant, low maintenance, and easy to care for. Rat tail cactus, like most other succulents, does best in bright direct light. In order to thrive, it needs someplace sunny. Place it near a window that gets the most daylight, and you'll be good to go. Their trailing habit makes them perfect for hanging baskets. While they can be used as standard fair potted houseplants, you won't be taking full advantage, aesthetically speaking. Watering the rat tail is fairly straightforward. Water moderately and regularly in the growing season, but wait for the soil to dry out before the next session. In winter, the plant enters dormancy and doesn't need as much water. The rat tail cactus grows best in warm temperatures in the summer and somewhat colder in winter. The optimal temperature for this cactus is between 60 to 7 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is easily achievable in most homes. Interestingly, these succulents prefer slightly colder temperatures in winter, somewhere between 4 to 5 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderate to low humidity levels are the sweet spot for these cacti. Unless your home is particularly dry, there is no need to fuss over moisture levels, but too much humidity can result in root rot. Try to use a slow-release liquid fertilizer that provides nutrients over time. This will prevent the plant from being overfed and potentially causing root damage or even death. Also, make sure to only feed in the growing season. Fertilizing during the dormant phase only causes stress. Rat tail cactus can be propagated by either cuttings or seeds. You can take cuttings from any part of the stems. These cacti are prolific growers, and propagation is very easy. Here's how to propagate this cactus using stem cuttings. Use a sterile knife to make a clean cut. Allow the cut end to callus over and replant in moist, rich organic soil. The cutting will root readily in humid and sunny conditions. Use plastic wrap to help with humidity. Seeds can be planted in well-drained soil and kept moist until germination occurs. Although it's technically possible to propagate by seeds, they are generally not recommended as cuttings are so much easier and more readily available. Rat tail loves rich organic soils as houseplants and doesn't need a specific mix of potting soil as long as it's nutrient rich. The potting soil should be a sandy loam with good drainage and should be mixed with some organic matter. Ensure good drainage in your pots as standing water can cause significant problems down the line. These plants are aggressive growers, but most of that growth is in the stems. Once mature, the roots don't spread out any further, but they take up nutrients like nobody's business. To ensure proper and healthy growth, you'll need to repot these plants every year so the soil is replaced. Good practice dictates checking the soil quality often to see if it hasn't become too nutrient deficient for use. Rat tail cactus is not poisonous to cats. The most common pests of these plants are mealybugs, spider mites, and scales. Take appropriate steps to control infestations as soon as they occur. To stop the damage, apply insecticides or horticultural oils. 